Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is May 31st, 2022. You know, today's topic is I got assigned with put option. What should I do now? So many of you are in this situation. When you sell put option, you feel happy because you're making money. But when you got assigned with the put option, you feel not so great. So with that, let's take a look at and see how to cope up with it. First, we'll talk about selling put option. One of my favorite option strategy is to sell put option on big ETFs like QQQ, SPY, IWM, XLE, SMH, and XLV. I also sell put option on some of the big, great stocks. So I want to make sure, you know, these are big, stable stocks. And I love selling put options on these big ETFs because there is no single stock risk. You don't need to worry. They always bounce back. You know, look at the history of QQQ, which is NASDAQ 100 or SPY. Historically, they always have an upward trajectory. That's one of the reasons I always sell put option on these big ETFs, especially when there is a huge uh, plunge in the market, maybe a 500 point plunge in Dow Jones. That's when I sell put option on these big ETFs. And then we'll talk about op option expiration. You know, on a mo monthly basis or even on a every weekly basis, I got this option expiration and uh, you know, you, you, you get to keep your money in the pocket. You don't need to worry. So that's one of the reasons I sell put option because, you know, most of the times uh, these options get uh, expired and you get the money. It's like, a you know, generating a monthly income, a steady monthly income. And sometimes you get assigned with a put option. It's the nature of the game. It's really uh, the cost of doing business. Don't panic when you get when when put options are assigned, because look, you are selling put options on these big ETFs. Nothing to worry; they always go higher. This is one of the reasons. Don't get into too much margin, so that way you don't need to panic. So if you don't get into too much margin and you are pretty comfortable with a nice buying power, don't don't worry about put option assignment. You can make even more money when you got assigned, and we'll talk about that a little bit. And then we'll talk about how to deal with the put option assignment. We'll talk about one use case that I will show you in um, QQQ, which is NASDAQ 100. You can make a really good profit out of the option assignment. Finally, we'll conclude with the you know my strategy around the put option and even buying and selling put options and also how to deal with the option assignment. So with that, let's jump in and get started. All right, look, my favorite ETF to sell put options are SPY, QQQ, SMH, IWM, which is Russell 2000, which is small cap, XLE. You know, I kind of look at uh, the, the ETFs and stocks which are uptrending. I tend to sell put options on them. XLE is uptrending off late, so you can make some good money by selling put option way below the current price. And XLV, which is typically uh, defensive, you know, typically it holds up pretty well, even when the market is plunging. These are my favorite ETFs to sell put option. I do this whenever market plunges, you know, by say Dow Jones plunges by 200, 300, 400 points, call me a put option seller. That's one of the way you can make some uh, good money and generate a monthly income. And depending on how bad it plunges and how good is the premium, I might sell say weekly put option or two week put option or even a monthly put option. That, that way I don't uh, you know risk too long from a time frame perspective. I typically sell within say 45 days to expiration, sometimes even much, much lower, maybe a one week when the market is too, too ugly. All right, now let's jump in and look at put option seller's dream. Look, I've been uh, selling put options on a, you know, on a weekly basis, especially I wait for the good setting when the market drops down by say 200, 300 points when there's a fear in the market. That's when I sell put option. Look, I'm selling this put options and got expired. That's a you know, good feeling. This is SMH, which is a semiconductor ETF. 
typically I sell put options and you know I make maybe a hundred to two hundred dollars um, you know on on each put option you know that's a good monthly income as you can see here um, I sold this put option and it's a two hundred uh, you know dollar up, um, up on two hundred dollar price on SMH which is which is semiconductor ETF and it got expired worthless I feel happy look happy face and same story look I have this QQQ expired here it's a 270 put option way below the current price when I sold it and then we got a few more here XLE it's a uptrending you know oil market as many of you know here I sold a put option got expired this is the quantity too for each of these put option I make somewhere between um, 100 and 200 dollars you know that's a that's basically a monthly cushion generating the monthly income month in and month out no big deal and look I got same story here QQQ, SPY, SMH even the Cheney CTF, MCHI I sold a put option here so typically it's a good feeling you know you can uh, you know the key is to not be too greedy because uh, you don't want to buy you don't want to sell too much put option it's like inventory management you know when you sell put option make sure you know some of them uh, got expired you know giving you borrowing power or you say you buy back some of them so that way it's an inventory management technique here at any time always you know have a steady um, number of put options that you sell so if you have a say you know say five hundred thousand dollar a million dollar account you know make sure you sell around say hundred or two hundred or even I think it's around hundred put options so that way you make good amount of money maybe say ten thousand dollars on a monthly basis so don't overdo it if you overdo it you get into trouble with the margin so it's not worth it so we'll look at some techniques around the inventory management so that way you don't need to worry too much and uh, you know keep it on a mechanical basis all right now let's jump in here and uh, look at you know when I sold the put option how you know what was my thought process look here I, I will take a, a case study of QQQ I sold a put option on 4-5 which is April 5th when I sold the put option uh, the QQQ QQQ price was at uh, 361 so when the price is 361 you know my rational say you know what you know if I sell a put option one month expiration on 300 look current price 361 on 45 and uh, price I sold sell the put option on 300 so my rational is hey you know how come you know Put, you know QQQ may not drop down from 361 all the way to $300 in one month time frame that's my rationale and by selling that put option I, I made $105 as you can see here and uh, you know you know in this scenario because QQQ came down pretty drastically from April onwards you know I got assigned you know for $300 as you can you know uh, as we'll go into next slide here and same story I sold one more QQQ and when I sold the put option on 330 uh, price was 367 my rational was hey you know what how you know QQQ cannot drop from 367 to 294 in one month time frame so again here uh, you know my assumption was wrong I got assigned and same story here again on 328 I sold put option at the time price was 364 and I sold put option for 300 way below the current stock price or ETF price my rationale is same here what there is no way QQQ can drop from 364 to 300 again here also I was wrong and as you can see here I got some money here you know around uh, 300 uh, or 350 dollars or so for selling this put option I, I don't regret these things you know even after this I will keep doing it because I know the odds are in my favor I may get assigned on a bad month like the one we are we are having right now which is May but generally this is a very good strategy to generate a monthly income all right now let's jump in and look at uh, you know I got assigned with put options look even though you know you are a savvy options trader when you get assigned with a put option your face will turn something like this even now I've been I've been trading put you know, options uh, in general for past 25 years I consider myself as pretty savvy 
But even now, when you get get assigned to the put option, my face turns something like this. It's not a great feeling, but now I I know how to cope up with the put option assignment. Look, <clears throat> just yesterday I got assigned with this put option for GDX, which is a gold miner ETF, and I will uh, typically I will wait for a week or so to for the market to do its thing. Then I will deal with maybe a you know, selling call option on top of this and generate some money that way and look here i got assigned with the qqq look we got uh, 300 uh, look we got quantity one and one more quantity one i got assigned with this put options here with the qqq as you can see here uh, price 300 and price 294 and i also got assigned with the you know xly here which is uh, which is one of my favorite etf i got assigned on xly also which is a consumer discretionary etf and one of my favorite etf xbi which is biotech etf i also got assigned here so feeling when you got get assigned with the you know put option is uh, really not great but we got to deal with it because uh, you know that's the only way to uh, make money in this game learn from it and uh, try to cope up with it and don't uh, don't overdo it that's the only thing i can say all right now i got assigned with this put option now what you know sky fell off right so let's see what happens now look you know this one i just got assigned these ones i've been assigned for a while here let's see what happened all right now you know look how my positions are doing now um, i got here qqq as you can see here QQQ, I got 300 stocks assigned to me. And as of now, I'm doing nice $2,900, almost $3,000. Even though, you know, I, I the put option got assigned to me. You know, I'm holding on to it. I'm not worried. So look, I made around $3,000 or $2,900. What I will do now is I will wait for a good day in the market. And I will start selling some call options on top of this and generate some good money here. And when I sell call options, I will not sell it for, uh, you know, one month out. I will sell for maybe one week or two week out. So that way, even on this uh, QQQ, the assigned position, I will make some good money by selling call option and generate monthly income that way. You know, one of these days, these call options will get called out. So that way, I will get rid of my uh, QQQ. That way, it will open up my inventory position. It's all about inventory management. You got to make sure you don't have too much uh, inventory in your uh, you know in in your uh, balance sheet that's why you got to make sure the inventory gets cleared off so that's why i'll keep selling put options call options on top of this on a good day when the market rallies 500 points and generates some monthly income there too same story look at iwm i got assigned here 100 shares and look i'm already up um, doing nicely here my uh, my oh actually my profit is right here four thousand six hundred dollars on qqq that's a good amount and on iwm my profit is about one thousand dollars and seventy three one thousand seventy three that's also good on a good day i will start selling some call options on top of this and generate some income same story xly here it's consumer discretionary and we got stocks like amazon.com home depot walmart and so on so forth it's up $20 so far. I'll wait for a couple of days and start selling call options on this on a weekly basis and generate some income. And on XBI and GDX, look, they're not there yet. I will uh, probably wait for a couple more days. When the market is up, I will start selling some call options and may start making some money on these also. In a nutshell, you know, look, even though put option got assigned, overall by looking at this you know i did not lose anything instead my profits are even bigger than selling selling put options that's one of the reason i sell put options you know when you got assigned uh, because these are great etfs big etfs you know don't need to worry you will even generate more income uh, by selling call option you know look if i sell call option now i can make a lot more money than just selling put options all right now let's jump in and look at uh, the conclusion here from a conclusion perspective look one of my favorite option strategy is to sell put options on big etfs like spy qqq ibm smh and so on so forth i do it especially when market plunges 
you know, by say 400, 500 points. So that way I don't need to, you know, uh, at the time, uh, at the time, the option premium is really high. That's when I sell put option. And when the market goes up, you know, big time, I also buy put options. So that way, you know, I, I have solid inventory. When I buy call, when I buy call option, when market explodes higher, that will give me ammunition to sell put option when the market goes lower. It's all about, you know, looking at the market and you, you would either buy or sell. When the market explodes higher, buy put option. When market plunges down, sell put options. So that way you have a good way to make money on a monthly basis. You know, most of the times these put options that I sell expire worthless. That will generate a good steady monthly income. I love it when these put options expire worthless. I, I typically sell these for say 30 or 45 days uh, to expiration. And when the market plunges big time, I might even sell it for a week or two and make some good money. At times, these put options are assigned. So, you know, in those scenarios, I even generate bigger profit because these are stable ETFs and they always bounce back nicely. There is no single stock risk. And don't be afraid of uh, uh, selling put options on big ETFs, mainly because there is no single stock risk here. And if you're assigned to the, assigned to the put options, you will end up buying your favorite ETF. Look at, you know, SPY, QQQ, IWM, SMA. These are the big ETFs. There is no single stock risk. These are some of my favorite ETFs. When the market rallies, you could sell call options on these uh, these these uh, ETFs, and you can generate a good income. So that way, you don't need to worry. You always can make some good money by uh, by selling this put option. As an example, if I take you to Thinkorswim platform here. Look, I got QQQ here. Look at the IV percentile right now, 71.2. That tells you there's a huge IV percentile here. That's when you sell some put option here. In the, you know, in the futures market, as I go through here in the futures market, looks like we got market right now, which is uh, slightly down. If we go here to my three month here, look um, today, uh, we got a down day in Dow Jones. Look here, we got 211 points down in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, so futures are down. That tells you market might open down here. So what I do is I go here. When the market opens up, I go to my favorite ETF, in this case, QQQ. And look, QQQ, as you see here, uh, we, price is around 309 right now. And I might go way below. I might go say 30 days out, um, which is a quarterly here. And look, three price is 309 right now, as you can see right here. All time high is, high is 408. And I typically go here, I not too greedy. I might sell a put option right here at 258. My rationale is, hey, you know what, price is 309. Uh, you know, it may not reach 258 in 30 days. And as you look through Thinkorswim platform, probability of stock or ETF reaching 258 is right here to the probability of touch 16 percent you know I'm, I'm okay with that risk here I will go here and sell this put option here um, and I will make 110 dollars uh, for selling this put option look done I will be I'll be selling this and suppose you know you got assigned with this put option I got assigned with the put option with QQQ as you have seen earlier what I would do is I'll go like maybe eight days out here and I'll look at my call option. Look, price is 309 here and I'll go here way about 309. Look, I'm right here. I'm at uh, I'm somewhere here 320. You know, it's a one week out, eight days out as you can see here. If I sell 320, uh, I get some good money here, $227, 227. I'm not that greedy. I'll go to 324 here. I will get some uh, good money here. I will sell 324. Look, current price is 309, as you can see here. I'm selling call option because I already have the assigned uh, QQQ here. At uh, 324, I will sell a call option expiring in next eight days. If price reaches 324 in next eight days, I'm happy. My my QQQ will be taken away from me uh, for a good money. That's that's okay with me. And also, I will generate premium 
uh, $1.15. If I don't get, a, if, if my call option did not, does not get taken away from me, I will keep doing this, you know, till it gets taken away and generate a good money. Look, I'll sell a call option here. I'm selling a call option, minus one here, generate $1.15. And look, um, if price reaches 325, I, the stock can get taken away from me. I'm happy with that. Uh, confirm and send. So with that, this is how I do it. When the market plunges big time, you know, sell, sell, uh, put option. When market rallies big time, for example, we got 309 of QQQ here. If the market rallies big time, what I do is I go maybe say 100 days out, or in this case 120, um, you know, 108 is good enough. I will go and buy some call option above the current price look qq2 is at 309 here when the market rallies big time i might go higher than the current price somewhere here 320 or so i might just buy some call option right here by paying 25 dollars no big deal so i will do this i'll be paying look i'll, I'll be paying around 2500 dollars that's my max loss the moment i do this you know this will give me good buying power you know on a bad days i'll be selling qqq uh, put option maybe a weekly basis now i got here long term put option that i bought against this long term uh, put option i bought i will be on a monthly basis i'll be selling uh, put options on top of this uh, this will be this will be my you know position uh, because i got this uh, put option here that i bought i can keep on selling call option on a month uh, on a weekly basis uh, because my risk is mitigated because because I already have a call, call off put option I bought here so that's one, another strategy I have on a good days don't worry buy some put option on bad days you know keep selling you know weekly uh, uh, put options and make money that way so with that uh, thank you very much happy investing and trading please subscribe